Hello and hi everybody, it's your boy the RC Cogitation of the Love Years 1 Season 5, Episode 3, Under the Foot Informant. I mean, whatever that word is. That's why I'm doing the title. So, anyway, guys, um, I know I was supposed to watch the show last night and I'm glad I watched it just now because I still got one, I still got one, well, I still gotta watch the other shows. Then I cross away to Black Ink Crew tonight for, and then you got. Sisters and I think Ripper Dell's coming on tonight. I don't know what else is coming on. Wait, oh, the Bubble Ring. I gotta watch that too. So, um, yeah, guys, um, we got to see Eddie, you know, being an asshole as he was, and this guy was beating the shit out of him in the stomach. I wish he should have hit him in the goddamn face because he is doing the most right now and he's still talking shit like he could take it. But I feel like. Somebody gonna be his ass one day. Trying to be tough, doing nothing but racist prick, cause that's where he is. And I hope he and I feel like he's getting calmer right now. I don't know why they can't hold him, but I guess they can't hold him too long. Cause next week he gonna try to kick Kelly's rival. Don't know why Kelly why her cell was open. I know she's getting out and stuff. I'm happy that she's getting out because Travis deserved it. He deserved it and what he did for trying to hurt her. For trying to rape her. He's just a manipulator. That's what he was. Good for him. We still don't know where her baby daddy went to. Because we know he probably found somebody someplace else to stay. So yeah. Um, anything else went down. We got to see Steven. Um, Steven and Esperanza. Esperanza finally got herself full custody. And she do it right. And she told him about the full custody. He didn't like that idea. But I think he deserved. She deserved all the full custody that she can be. Steve is going to take her out for dinner. I do like them together. I wish she's not playing games no more. I'm hopeful she did grow up. Natty was in um, Lucy's business. Because she's been wondering where, where was Alex at. And he told the truth and saying that he saw. I think him and Brad saw Alex. Having sex with Ian. And man. Yeah she didn't want to tell Natalie anything. Because Natalie always be nosy. And now she. He basically want to lose. I'm not losing. She. He. I'm oh, sorry. He want her to quit. So he can have this ba his baby. Because they want. He want another kid. And. I think they still engaged. They should be getting married. But. Guys, and then we see random, and well, speaking of race, let me just come back to that. We see Larry, and we finally got to see his wife. And I knew she was a white woman, and I'm like, okay, she's pretty cool. I mean, she's pretty cute. I like her. Because when she came to the house, because we found that she's a nurse, and he's a lawyer, and he was sleeping with his side piece, a side dude, Ashley. Because, see, they got an open marriage, by the way, and she... Like that Allison, and I guess um, she said she want to cut her losses. She want to cut him, cut her off or something like that. Because I think Alice was probably messing with women, too. This woman, Alice, been hiding a lot. And she basically, oh, man, this way to next week. Because that's what she going to tell um, Brad and Marcy that she didn't want this. She didn't want this lifestyle. She didn't want to be married. She didn't want any kids. She wanted to be an actress. Remember what she told Ian last week was happening, what she wanted to do. So, yeah, I can't wait till next week. Of course, Eddie and Kelly's going at but Kelly was trying to ignore Eddie, and boy, was she thrilled when she killed Travis. Like, she even said... She don't want to. She not. She not feeling bad for Travis no more. The motherfucker got what he got. What's coming to him? So I'm here for it. I hear what she's saying. As Ron said, you shouldn't be talking as loud. You shouldn't be talking like that. Then Eddie was saying that he was gonna kill her because he getting full custody of her daughter, and you know the cameras is playing. And I saw Steve and heard that shit, but I feel like they're not gonna be all whole with him and stuff because, like I said, next week she, he gonna try to take Kelly Bible. And I, cause you know, Kelly is getting out cause she want her life back. And now she can, I don't know how she's going to get her job back. And what's she going to do? I guess she's going to have to do something else. Cause I know we see Marcy and Brad and Marcy do feel bad. We know if Marcy is talking to Alice's baby because she basically know that Alice is guilty, but the baby is innocent. And you know what? 
I would definitely want to see, because Brad, it's crazy that it's instant that Brad and Marcy's engaged already after they just got out of their marriage. I mean, after they both got a divorce. And yeah, man, Ezra has to finally put her foot down that she will get full custody of her daughter. Like I said, I don't have too much to say. We all find out that Alice thinks that she was raped. She don't remember how she got there. And Ian said, you came here and we had sex. And um, Alice was saying that you raped me, you drugged me and raped me. And I wish this bull because there's no way you was drunk and you had no idea what happened. Oh, before I go, we did see Rick or Ricky or whatever his name is and the woman that put on sisters. Nothing happened between them. But you know she tried to play hard to get. And she told us that to get out and get just a leave. And she was talking to her vagina. This kind of mommy was that somebody else that used to do that. What was the name of that show I used to watch? Well, it, it doesn't matter. But anyway, guys, that's all I have to say about Is All You Wrong. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, please turn on notification. Share this video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Deuces.